Hello y'all. Hello, hello everyone. So this is Abby. She is my best friend. And uh, she, despite being my best friend, has not had much Russian food before. Mm -hmm. We've had borscht together, mm -hmm. which she liked. You liked borscht. Loved it. Yes. And then, remind me, have you had Olivia? No. The potato salad? Ooh, maybe like a long time ago. Yeah. Maybe. Might have made it for some holiday. Mm -hmm. Um... I've, it's been a long time, even if I have had stuff. It's been a long time. We went to Veselka in Ukraine. And not, in, not, <laughs> not in Ukraine. We went to Ukraine. No, we went to Veselka in New York, which, by the way, is a great restaurant. Really um, good. We went to try Korean stuff. So, uh, you may see a lot of stuff, and there's more stuff in the bag. We just went to two Russian stores, and I grabbed things that I think would be interesting to try for her. <laughs> I think some she'll love, I think some she'll probably hate. Um, I'm going to be also telling you what they are, what they're made of, and commenting on them. Um, meanwhile, I would like to start with a swig of tomato juice. Tomato juice. This is <laughs> Get yourself a so, girl. <laughs> it's just so funny, like, tomato juice of all things. So like, this is smak, which means taste in Ukrainian, and it is a Ukrainian, Ukrainian produced, right? Is it? I don't know. Oh, actually, this is, oh no, yeah, it is. It is produced in Ukraine. Uh, in Chernigovska Oblast. Yeah, that makes sense. So this is tomato juice. That's all it is. Okay. <laughs> Straight up. My mom used to drink it as a kid. I have never. I've had a Bloody Mary. Okay, well, that's not quite the same. But... Are Americans nice speaking Russia? Yes. Hi, Baka. Alright, here we go. Check it out. <laughs> Looks like tomato juice. Smells like okay, hi. soup. It smells like soup. <laughs> yeah, it smells like tomato soup. Like I just don't like it. Yeah, I've never this is, experienced this. Is this is just is. straight out tomato juice. This is how we do it in Ukraine, folks. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> how do you say cheers in Russian? Uh, in Russian, nazdarovye. In Ukrainian, budmo. 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 <laughs> Ah, look, Cameo says he's a big admirer of your art, Abby. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, Abilin. I changed it recently. Abilin underscore art is my uh, Instagram. It used to be something else. Check it out, folks. Abilin underscore art. She is a very talented artist. She does a lot of different paintings. Uh, and they're very, very low priced if we're talking about original art. Mm. And uh, there's a couple paintings of me, I believe, in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. She's kind of like my muse. Okay, so we did, we decided against the park just because we thought a table would be nicer. Yeah. Um, we do have a pool behind us, so technically speaking, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're still in nature. <laughs> There's a body of water. So I don't hate this at all. But you don't love it either? I would love it if you put it in a saucepan, <laughs> heated it up, put some pepper and salt, and <laughs> ate it with a slice of bread or grilled cheese. It's a juice. It's I know, a I know. No, it's good. It's good. It's just such like a, it tastes like I'm drinking cold soup, you know, because I've never had anything like this other than tomato soup. I think it is very uh, thirst quenching and satisfying and I enjoy it very much. It definitely tastes healthy. <laughs> like it tastes like a, if you wanted to quit coffee or sugary drinks in the morning, like this would wake you up probably. Mm. It's not like Clamato. Like, I've tried American tomato juices. They're not quite the same. I do, yes, Pedro. I like Mexican food. Oh, hi, Eric. Yeah. Alright, so yeah. just to start us nice and slow, we're gonna start with this guy. This is not, this is like a snack. This is not a meal. Um, in case you wanna see, this is Sukhariki. So, I think in English it is rusks. At least that's how I saw it translated. And they are with the flavor of horseradish and aspic. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Here you go. Wait, horseradish and what? Aspic. Looks like a crouton. Whoa! <laughs> mm. I like the fudge, doesn't it? <laughs> I like it though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the reaction. He was like, whoa! 
It <gasps> tastes like horseradish. Thank you, Vander. I once got fired from my job because I kept asking the customers if they prefer smoking or non-smoking. Apparently, the correct terms are cremation and burial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. This is good. This would be good with, like, a tuna sandwich. Tuna sandwich. Yeah, because it kind of tastes like if you have a tuna sandwich, toasted bread, like a crunchy bread. Like, it almost kind of tastes like that. So... Usually they're just eaten straight up like this. You sort of like, like you eat chips, I guess. But sometimes it goes like dip them in hummus. Okay, yeah. That'd be good. Or like a dip. Thank you, monster. Woo! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that really surprised me. I did not expect such a it's, it's strong a pretty flavor. Potent flavor, yeah. Because it doesn't look like it mm. looks like a crouton. They're not hot, but they're like they're a punch to them. Yeah, it's like pickly-ish. It's like, if, obviously, if you don't, if you haven't had horseradish, it's hard to explain. Mm -hmm. But it's like pick, pickly. Yeah, have you ever tried horseradish people in chat? <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just like take it away from you for now yeah. because we have a lot of food and I need you all. I need you to try all of it. So next up, we're gonna try this snacky guy, which is dry salted fish. Yeah, I don't think I'll like it. I'll eat it, but I don't think I'll eat it. <laughs> it looks rough. It looks, you know, it, it doesn't look very appetizing. But dry salted fish is one of the things I missed the most after I moved here and before I found the Russian store. It was something that my family. It was, it was something that my family would bring me when they uh, come to visit me because, like, even in Russian stores in here, you don't have as much variety. Um, of dry salted fish as we do back home and um, I don't know I really like it yeah it's pretty foreign to me as a concept like I just don't, I don't think I've ever had all right so <laughs> okay I'm a little nervous for this one <laughs> it's all right don't be nervous so you want to kind of like almost take just take one. I'm just gonna show you what to do. So you want to kind of almost like peel off, like it's edible, but you all, it's not the best tasting. So like you want to peel off the scales. Scales, yeah. And then you just kind of do that. Okay. So you know, it's just like good old fish. Thank you, Bender. Why should you never trust a cartoon character? Because they're sketchy. <laughs> yes, it is very, this is very salty, yes. These go fantastic with beer. This is like a very classic beer snack. Do you need help? Yes. I'm struggling to peel it, but I also have half acrylic nails, half right. blue nails. So, you want to like start it? I'm confused by like the smell. Like it smells like something, but... I don't know what it is, but it smells like something familiar to me. Keep going from there. <laughs> so, thank you. It's also a little chewy. Um, so, Rita, I'm not sure what that is in Russian. And I don't want this to be mean or like offensive, but it smells. I figured out what it smells like, and it smells like my old hermit crab's tank. Like it smells like the wood chips in my hermit crab's tank when I was a kid. It doesn't taste like that though. It tastes like salty, chewy, mm -hmm. but it it doesn't didn't taste like it smelled, and it doesn't taste like what I thought. But I still don't really like it. Sorry, girl. That's fine. That's okay. I I knew you would not like some of those things. <laughs> yeah. That was just a cough. That was just a cough. That was just a cough. I'm not choking or gagging. All right. All right. Um, I'm not that big of a baby. All right. All right. <laughs> so. I don't know. Do you want to do this? Yeah. 
You have a stronger grip than I do. Marinated. So th these are marinated tomatoes. This is like my absolute favorite yeah. fucking shit, which and is, I eat it with every meal. Which is why we wanted to do this, is because right. we were like, they have great tomatoes there. Right. Tomato juice. It tastes like tomato. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Let me see. No. Oh. It tastes like tomato juice. Oh, it's tomatoes. It is tomatoes, but they're marinated. I mean, they're uh, pickled. Yeah, they're good. I think I. I'm trying to find like a. Oh, hype train. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, there's uh, sound alerts are not working, guys. That means people are cheering. Uh, thank you for continuing your subs. What's up? Yes, yeah, so these are pickled tomatoes. Um, I personally absolutely love pickled tomatoes. They go really well with like potato or shit like that because they like add that little oomph, like little fresh mm. juiciness to it. <laughs> this is gonna sound really American, but it would be great on a Ritz cracker. That's how I would have it. On a Ritz cracker. On a Ritz cracker. Just put it on a Ritz cracker. I think that'd be good. Alright, well, so usually when I get them, I get the big ones. They're sort of the big ass juicy tomato. Oh. You bite it, yeah. It's gotta be messy, you know? Yeah, it is. But okay. it's worth it. Yeah. I got these because I figured that'd be a little bit easier for you to handle. But they taste the same. I like them. This is a good job. This was a success. Okay. So, so far, there's, the fish is the only one yeah, that well, you were like, not nah. only the fish I was like, yeah. Okay. And it's not because it looked crazy. Are you sure? Yeah, no, I'm sure. It's not right. because I thought I wouldn't like it. So grab a fork and a knife, my friend, because we're getting into the weird territory now. Oh! <laughs> what do I start you on? All right, I'm gonna start you on this because this is like the, this is like a sparing, this is like a sparing item. So these are, um, dirune, kind of, except they're made not of the potato; they're made out of zucchini. That's not usually how you make it. Basically, I lied to you. Um, but that's how they make it at the store. And I believe they have mushrooms and egg okay. as ingredients. That looks good. That should be good. That's like the most neutral item. <laughs> Wait, am I missing something? Oh, I'm totally missing something. <gasps> Thank you for gifting five subs, man nerd. Thank you, Cameo. Woo -hoo -hoo. This isn't scroll for some reason. Thank you, Baka. <laughs> okay, so this looks like a straw. Thank you, my mom would make the strata, which was very eggy, and it had vegetables in it, basically. Right. Well, check it out. Have anybody here ever had a lady or Dirune? Hmm. This is good. I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of zucchini, so I'm kind of 50-50 on that the, the, they're not made out of potato, but... I like it. Even. Okay. I like this. All right. Thank you, Bender. What is the best target market for assisted suicide youth in Asia? Jesus Christ, Bender. <laughs> Do you like it, Jessica? This was good. Yeah? Yeah. All right, take a knife. It's, it's um, super light and spongy and kind of wet. Like, it's not dry. It's the furthest thing from dry. <laughs> It's moist. It's yeah, moist. it's super moist, super spongy, super fluffy. I like it. That'd be great on Christmas morning. All right. Oh, these, these I fucking love. So these are like a break <coughs> from weirdness. Okay. So these are blinzy. Blinzy. And they're stuffed with beef. Beef. Yeah. Feels like a crepe. Yeah, it's crepe. It's basically a crepe. Okay. Thank you, Bender. I bought some shoes from a drug dealer. I don't know what he laced them with, but I've been tripping all day. <laughs> you did this one before. Find <laughs> a monster, no! Light, spongy, and wet. Got it. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is just a crepe, essentially. Mm -hmm. Blin chick. Um, stuffed with beef. How are you liking it? I like it a lot. This is a good on the go. Yeah, it's very tasty, isn't it? Feed this in the car. Mm-hmm. The beef is like, like, 
satayed slash it's like ground beef that's like satayed slash fried in oil I think flavor wise mm -hmm. I shouldn't eat the rest of it though gotta be smart right 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 you have a lot to eat yeah um, that's good though um I'm gonna have all of this food to eat later oh, close. broke it <laughs> no. Here's how we're gonna do it. The fucker don't wanna close, I'll close you. There you go. It's Solving close. problems every day, <laughs> multiple times a day. It's this so is, hard. This is what I do, yeah. Um Thank you, Monster. Thank you, Baka, thank you, Cameo. <laughs> See we're in a level three hype train. Everybody's cheering. Cool. I really, I don't know what that means at all, but I think level three it's is good. It's a good thing. It's a good Hype thing. Hype is good. Mm -hmm. Trains are good. Trains were a major point of advancement for humanity. Yeah. You know, railroad. Mm -hmm. Really, like, launched us into the future. The movie Train Spotting. Railroad. Horrifying. <laughs> Baby on the ceiling. Freaking me out. <laughs> no, the one thing I took away from that movie is that cat poo is really bad for you. <laughs> I think of the public bathroom scene anytime I'm in a public bathroom at a bar. <laughs> when he's like, when he goes in the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Good movie though. Like I really liked it, even though it like kind of made me depressed for three months. So after. I have a question. Do you yeah. want to go through the weird stuff first and have the stuff that I that, that's like good tasting, or do you want to do the good tasting first and then have the weird stuff? The weird stuff, I guess. Weird yeah, stuff. Weird All stuff. right. So. These are the items. We're gonna start with the item that I don't personally love, but it's classic. It's classic, and my dad loves it. And it's something that you have. Wow. <laughs> what is it? It's, I see, so, beet. So, it is called Serotka Pachube. Let me get rid of this guy. Yeah, or here's trash. So this is called Celotka Pachube, or uh, pickled herring under a fur coat. Fur? <laughs> That's <laughs> what it's called. <laughs> and it is um, a layered salad, if a salad can be, is, is a word that can be applied to it. Um, which is, cons it consists of a layer of pickled herring, which is a fish, if you don't know. And then um, beets, eggs, like boiled eggs. Sometimes apples. I don't know what the fuck they all put in here. Um, onions, um, and mayo, and potato, and carrots. Uh, it's just everything. The only, um, the only thing that's a little nerve wracking is the pickled herring, like the main part. <laughs> so I think the pickled herring is like underneath it. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, Do you think it's like all throughout? Oh no, yeah. I, it looks like they chopped it up. It looks like this oh, is it. Yeah. Right? So, it's a very um, pretty dish. You're gonna, you're gonna have to have a couple of spoonfuls of this though to like really understand. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love onions. What's the yellow? Egg. Oh, it's like the mm -hmm. yolk. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> well, a little nervy, not gonna lie. It's just like, it's, it's just very different. You have no expectation, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelled before. You had some herring in there, girl. I did. Huh? Hmm. 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 Okay. <laughs> it's not bad. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad, though. At first, I was going to say I would like it more without the egg, but then the next bite I took, it, like, needed the egg. Like, it, it tasted like an egg salad. It tastes like an egg salad with a bunch of other stuff added to it. Did you get any herring in that? Yeah, I did, and it kind of, it, was, uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought maybe it would be. It's the pickled part that freaks me out. It's like, oh, I don't know if I'll like that. Um, I'm slow key I like the chugging this tomato juice over here. Onions, a lot of onions. We love onions. We do love onions, yeah. <laughs> I have onions a lot, just as they sing. She'll eat a burger and then just take a bite of an onion. Burger. Let me just take a bite of the onion now. <laughs> because I want to have a balanced amount, a high balanced amount of onion in every bite. Do you know anyone and who does that? Put it, if you just put it on the burger, you don't get it into every bite. Sometimes you can. <laughs> Sometimes you can. If you put enough on there, you can get it in each bite. It's just so funny. 
<laughs> and so I have like a whole stock of the green onions, like the whole thing, <laughs> just on her plate. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I do. I do. If I have scallions at home, I'll just have the green onions, just like stacked like a couple. I have of a them. picture on my phone of just like dough, <laughs> like, and then just a green onion have... bundle next to it. <laughs> <laughs> They're all good enough. You <laughs> thank you, Camia, and thank you, Vander. I once made love in an elevator. It was great on so many levels. <laughs> good one. <clears throat> Woo, it was a high train success. It's funny that you said your dad likes this because this is very. This is definitely like a senior citizen meal. <laughs> you well, know? he liked it when he was not a senior citizen either. Well, of that generation, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you, I thought it was going to be worse than it actually was. So thank you for overreacting, preparing <laughs> me for something that didn't happen. All right, not bad. Not bad. Good. I still think the best part of all of this is going to be the sweets for me. Oh, yeah. Because I love sweets. And the sweets are the best part, it, always. They all look really All right, good. so this one is not, like, I actually like it. I actually like it. The problem is that it's pretty weird, so usually people that didn't grow up with it freak out. <laughs> it's jello. Is there a stapler in there? <laughs> Aspic in English? This looks like a soup that froze. <laughs> you see little bits of chicken. Can they see it? Anyway? <laughs> you can see bits of chicken floating in there. Okay. I'm gonna take a picture and post. That's hilarious. It I'm looks gonna... like... Yeah, she's a big office fan. Yeah. Uh, everybody is saying that you're cool because of it. Um, um, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna take a picture and post it in my that Discord just so, so you guys funny. can get a closer look or a couple pictures, I guess. Get like the sides. So right, right, right. <laughs> Sorry. Is it gelatin? Uh, yes, it is basically meat jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think that anyone would think of that. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me just pose these real quick. Um. <laughs> you mean it with the knife and fork? Yeah. So it has, uh, I'm not sure, I think this is chicken, yeah. So usually you will make it with, I mean, pretty much any meat, really. Um, I think we usually made it with uh, cow tongue. So you got it a little less weird than we do. <laughs> <laughs> um, funny. Thank you, Bender. Why are snakes so bad at telling jokes? Because they never do stand up. <laughs> they don't have legs to stand on. They, they don't. don't. <laughs> All right. So I think this is a flamingos chicken are really struggling too. They're on their last leg. <laughs> and it has carrots and an egg floating in there. I might eat around the egg. So it's generally it is a pain in the ass to make. So I like never make I bet. it. I it, yeah. Because it takes literally like fucking 40 hours to make the shit. So first you have to slow boil like on a low, like, like you know, like kind of like consistently have it in the hot water, like barely boiling for hours. Mm -hmm. And you usually do it with like bones as well to get the bone broth. Okay. You know. Very good for you. Yeah, and so it like cooks for the longest time until like all is, is basically almost pureed. Mm -hmm. And then you add gelatin into it and then you have to freeze it. So usually this meal would be made in Ukraine, at least that's how my grandma made it. We would make it in winter and she'd just like stick the whole pot on the balcony overnight. Oh, cool. Yeah, and then, you know, <clears throat> then you get that. <laughs> now, is this just like a normal family meal or did you ever have it for like a special occasion? Um, because it's such a pain in the ass to cook, it would usually be made for holidays. Nice. Um, but you know, if you really want it, sometimes you could make it. It's just a lot of work. It's it's really no gambi, no human meat, obviously. Oh, okay. Okay, I want to tell you a joke, you ready? Okay. <laughs> I was about to ask if you'd eat a human. <laughs> Sorry. No, I mean, don't eat me. I um, mean, would depends you? on how you, if somebody, what do you consider eating? <laughs> if somebody gave themselves to science and their actual intention was like, I hope when I die they eat me. Like, I hope that they cook a meal. Also, Gordon Ramsay made it. It's not just, you know, I'm not making no, it. I am not. You I wouldn't? Not eating a human. I wouldn't either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but here's the joke. Okay. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? To go to the idiot's house. Knock, knock. Am I the idiot? Because I don't fucking get it. <laughs> but you got it! Is that it? Is that it? Yeah. No, I'm going to show you. Is 
I read a clip later. And okay. then I threw him to bed. I was like, why did she just throw him to go to the lady's house? Knock, knock. He's like, who's there? I'm going to go with the chicken. And he's just like. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, let's do it again. <laughs> so they told him again. He's like, who's there? And I go with the chicken. And he's like. I <laughs> just I couldn't stop laughing. And then I explained it to him and he was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> but yes, that, that's the point of the joke. I like that joke. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm nervous. Yeah. I'm nervous. This looks like something from like, I don't know, like Ned's Declassified. Sorry, 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 sorry. Why, why, sorry, like, sorry, 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 why sorry, are you like sorry. destroying Because it. I have nervous. a whole cube. I have a whole cube of it. <laughs> I'm playing with my food. I'm nervous. <laughs> And that's exactly mm-hmm. what it tastes like. Oh, it reminds me of the mint jelly that we would have with lamb on Easter, which is nothing like this. Oh, it's good. You I don't like hate it. it. No, I don't hate it. I think if I grew up with it as a kid, like my grandma made it, I'd love it. Right, but you don't love it. I don't love it, but I would eat it. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right. Well, good news. Definitely you're gonna, you're gonna have the rest of it, so <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Jimmy will Okay. Alright, alright. So you've gotten through most of the weird stuff. This is uh not I don't think it's weird, it's just stuffed cabbage. But it's like one of my favorite Ukrainian dishes. It's called Galupsi. And it is a uh, little stuffed cabbage roll. It usually I made it on stream actually, if you guys remember. It usually is made with um Rice and ground, a mix of ground beef and pork, usually one to one, but this probably isn't, you know, because it's like store meat. But, um, and then some carrots, some onions, and some tomato paste. And it's usually served up with um, sour cream, but, you know, we have it how we have it. <laughs> From her, her, from my friend's culture, what Irish? <laughs> they say I should, ha- I should have had food from your culture. <laughs> I'm not Irish. I'm not Irish. I think I'm Irish. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. White culture. Yeah, white culture. Well, you're from Boston, so. There's actually plenty of Boston food. There is. Like that's not common everywhere else. Yeah. Um. This is good. I like this. It'd be better warm. warm yeah. But it's good. It's really flavorful. And yeah, this is like a really comfy, cozy meal. Yeah. On a cold winter day or like a cold fall day. I really like that. What are some of the like Boston specific dishes? You know, like the the joke, like not really dishes, really. It's just like the, like so much seafood, you know? Like it's. I like seafood, yeah. Right. But, um,. A lot of lobster and a lot of clams and a lot of oysters, like a lot of shellfish that um, are just harder to get up here. Mm-hmm. And then there are like just the local spots, like Bagel World, which is literally just bagels, but they're just like it's like a freaking <coughs> whole thing where you can get anything you want on a bagel. Like they have, it's hard. It's hard to describe. And then um, really good Italian food because that's something about LA is it has really good different um, food options, food cuisines, um, but in Massachusetts, Boston specifically, most of it's Italian food, so you get really good Italian back there. I like Italian food too. And they do like um, <coughs> festivals in the North End, which is the Italian part of Boston, food festivals, and um, you know, cannolis, so good, Mike's Pastries, Google Mike's Pastries. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's mostly... mostly Shellfish. So there's Dunkin' this, Donuts. There's this. This is gonna be weird, but there's this obscure, tiny little shop uh, in fucking Connecticut, um, and it's called Chicken Joe's, and it has the best nuggets I have ever had in my entire life. Really? Shit, you know, I would literally fly to the East Coast just to have those nuggets. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. It's really good. I don't know what the fuck they do. It's the seasoning. They have like their own seasoning they yeah. make, and it is fantastic. 
Cool. Thank you, Bender. What do you get when you cross a pee pee and a potato? A dictator. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a place in Massachusetts called Kelly's Roast Beef. And they have great roast beef sandwiches. That's also a classic Boston thing is a roast beef sandwich. They're saying, I've heard Scrapple is big in Boston. What's Scrapple? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, Let me Google that. A lot of Bostonians in LA? Have you met a yeah, lot of Bostonians in LA? I actually have. I've actually ran into two people from my high school hmm. out in LA, just at like stores, random stores. Um, Boston is a huge college town on its own, you know, like an educational center of America basically. It has all MIT, Harvard, BC, BU, Northeastern, all that. So, oh, Scrapple is like an Amish thing, I guess. That makes sense. I'm gonna Google that. You got Amish in Boston? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Pennsylvania. Scrapple. I really. Oh yeah, Pennsylvania Dutch pork scraps and trimmings with cornmeal to make like a bread, basically. Okay. I have never had that. Um, me neither. I've never even heard of that. I do really want to like make a trip out there because I want to go to Salem. <laughs> yes, and I. I, I say the best time to go to Massachusetts is in October because it's just so beautiful with all the colors and just perfect weather. But if you go to Salem, it's freaking packed in the fall. Like, you can barely, like, walk around the streets. But the good thing about Salem is that it's Halloween season there 24-7. And they always have. So Halloween maybe, uh, you know, starting plan to plan ahead, maybe we could uh, plan a little trip for next, like, October. Maybe. I think we should. I think like a little weekend, and I can drive you around to take you on my own little tour <laughs> because I can show oh, you this all girl? the haunted spots. She's a fucking encyclopedia for murders and haunted stuff. Like those are the two things that, like, everywhere we go, like we go to a restaurant and she's like, you know what? The owner killed his mother in the sixties, <laughs> like right here. Oh, thank you, chicken. <laughs> thank you, murder. The CEO. Everywhere, like everywhere we go, she's like, oh yeah, this girl like died here like twenty years ago. <laughs> I have a morbid curiosity when it comes to death, murder, and the paranormal. Don't kill me. <laughs> but I think it'd be pretty cool. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. Kind of legendary. <laughs> Get a Wikipedia page. Um, um. Yeah, I don't know. Well, Boston, well, that's the thing. Boston is a very, very haunted place. If you believe in ghosts, uh, Massachusetts got plenty of them compared to other places, I think. I mean, I think Southern California does too. But Massachusetts has a lot of history, a lot of cool history that's also <laughs> still there in front of you, like all the old houses and stuff. So I just kind of grew up being interested in ghosts. And then, you know, women of my age tend to like true crime. So I got on that boat. And then, now wherever I move to a city, I need to Google any haunted spots. Where was the last murder? Is he in jail? When? How many? She's too much. Do a lot of research. Bandersnatch says, I like her, Emily. You need to bring her around more often. I'm around all the time. You just never see me. <laughs> She's behind the scenes. All the time. <sighs> She's always my date to all of the events I go to, so. Yes, I'm the girl in the leopard coat. <laughs> okay. Uh, have you read Devil in the White City about America's first serial killer? It's really interesting and disturbing. That's the thing. I don't know how to read. <laughs> girl, I'm a witch. I fucking love you. <laughs> Boston is the smartest city in America, but... Okay. So this is not quite yet a dessert. I'm gonna, gonna split this motherfucker. Ooh! Here you go. So this is called pirajok, and these are like a classic, classic pirajok. Pirajok. See. Pirajok. See, why am I speaking Italian? I have to go down here when I speak. <laughs> pirajok. But this is basically a baby pie. That if I were to translate it. Ooh. <laughs> Good, right? It's so funny because the inside is just like a spring roll. Yes, you know? but, but, but this so so these things come with like literally anything in them. Mm. There, there are ones with potatoes, mushrooms, cabbage. There's dessert ones. There's an apple one in there. 
They make them with cherries. They make them with strawberries. They make, like literally anything you can put in a pie. This is really good. Hypothetically, you can put in this. Yeah. This might be my favorite. Oh wow! Yeah. So this is it. Just has cabbage inside, and it has the like a like a pastry-ish exterior. I don't want to explain it. It's yeah. Like, it's yeah. crumbly, flaky. Yeah. It's flaky. This is really good. Why does she turn into a Dudley do it villain when she says Russian words? <clears throat> no, Eric. <laughs> how much baby do you put in it? Depends. <laughs> Depends on how much baby you have available. You know? Like, if you have a whole baby available, then you can, like, put a lot of it in there, you know? If you only have, like, a little bit of a baby. <laughs> Hi, Rain. This is Abby. She's my friend. Hello. And um, she's trying Russian food right now. She's been a champ, honestly. She's tried some weird shit. <laughs> the fish was the worst. The fish was the worst. Now that it's in the past, that breaks my heart. Now that it's in the past, I really didn't like that. That it breaks my heart. Sorry. I love, I love salt. No, I'm so sorry. Fish. More for you. <laughs> More for you. Um, I am eating full though. <laughs> <laughs> There's an apple one in there if you want to have a bit of that too. An apple? Mm hmm. Mm. I can't right now because I'm really full, but now I'm imagining what it tastes like. I'm sure it's really good. Mm. I can imagine if I'm even full and I only had like. Oh yeah, I'm really full. This nice stuff. So now we're going to move on to desserts. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no break for just. I don't really need it. Just separate stomach, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not the same stomach that like the food goes into. Yes. It's a dessert stomach. <laughs> a dessert stomach. It's from uh, Grandma Deli, Rain. Rain lives in a life, so. It's been to Grandma Deli. Babushka. Mm-hmm. Babushka. Babushka Deli. Hello. You want some tomato juice? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm about to finish this whole pack, you guys. <laughs> Alright, let me grab the dessert. And, uh, oh, is it? Oh, it's right here. Oh, you can, yeah, you can pass it, I guess. Here we go. So. Let me see where I want to start you. <clears throat> All the desserts look really good. So, I'm, gonna, I'm going to start you on this guy. So this is legitimately the treat of my childhood. It's Bouchonne Moloko, condensed milk. It even says Soviet on here. <laughs> this is exactly what it looked like since my dad was a baby. Okay, Just get a spoon and get a spoonful. And looks like condensed milk. It's really good on everything, honestly. Like. I have a spoonful myself. This does look good. This looks like um, vanilla pudding, but it's not. So this it's just this, like milky white thing. It does not taste like mom. Well, I mean, I guess it is kind of like caramel in the way. Like the texture is kind of like caramel. It's kind of like butterscotch pudding. Have you ever had that? Kind of tastes like that. You could uh, use this as a prop or something else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Abby. Sorry. It's like stringy. <laughs> Some of this stuff will come out of you. 
That's if what I mean. If only it tasted this good, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was really good. Super sweet. Mm. <clears throat> Super sweet. And that, you could like drizzle that on anything too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. All right. Like pretzels. That would be cool with anything salty. So next up, we have another favorite treat of my childhood. Uh, this is a glazirovane sirok. Daru, see? Which is, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> which is, it's, it translated as a cheesecake bar. I guess it is. I don't know. It doesn't quite translate correctly. But so it's basically, um, I guess, cheesecake. Strawberry flavored in this case. And glazed in chocolate. So these I fucking loved. Like these were like a special treat. This was like an everyday treat, and this was like a special treat. Ooh. Whoa. Really good, eh? Really rich. Uh huh. But because sometimes I get irritated with the ratios of things, because I love chocolate so much, I always think like the ch there could always be more chocolate. But this chocolate is really good and rich, just yeah. like the filling. Mm -hmm. It's very mm. thick. Mm -hmm. Like, gooey almost, mm -hmm. right? You can savor this. Mm -hmm. Be good on my period. I'm starting to think that she's the bad influence and not the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a baby. I'm just. I'm just a little kid. Mm -hmm. Can't influence her. We influence each other. <laughs> we do, actually. For sure. We do influence each other. You have gotten me together, <laughs> and I have gotten her to loosen up, I think. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I was, uh, oh, you can actually tell them. I was like, you know, a stick up my ass type person for a very long time. I wouldn't say that. I would just say very tightly wound. Very tightly wound. <laughs> very stressed. Which is like still true, but you know, you could tell you were stressed, I think. No, now I'm just hiding in better. Um, <laughs> Rain is asking Abby, is Emily one of the cool kids? She's very pretty. She's talented. Of course, she's a cool kid. What kind of question is that? <laughs> yeah, you trying to get my friends to talk shit about me? Yeah, I can get it. <laughs> I can get you. All right, so these these are called Arrowhead um, Strela, and these are straight up made in my hometown. Like not just in Ukraine, in my hometown. All right. She lived in a cupboard in the factory. <laughs> well, actually, so. Funny you should say that because so my, my town has a very big chocolate factory and every school, like every class in every school when you're like in sixth grade goes on a tour and the tour works this way. You come in and they tell you you can eat, you can pick off the line and eat anything you can eat. Just this sounds in. like a trap from Mr. Willy Wonka himself. No, 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 no. But straight up, you're like, the only rule is that you can't take anything with you. Oh, all you can eat. Yeah, so you while you're in the factory, you can just dip your shit in the toilet, in the toilet, in chocolate, and just go, you know, but you can't. This is literally, tell you, talk about but it. But you can't take anything to go. And so the, you think it's fantastic, but it's not. It's not. It's okay. really a bad idea because when you leave, you have a stomach ache like no other because you just try to, like, you have, like, two hours at the factory and you just try to, like, eat everything you see. Right. <laughs> Oh, shit. Хорошо, Джаска, будем говорить по-русски. В общем, это стрела. Это стрела. Вот такие они конфеты. Они шоколадные внутри крем. Держи. Попробуй. This is pretty. This is really, like, pretty. Bottom first? Is that weird to eat it like that? Mmm. Ooh. There's that fancy chocolate. Yeah, me another pets, but the mushta and you can What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> to be a little too. Um, still this is really good. Cool. Cool. <laughs> you ever suck the stuff out? Mm-hmm. It's hard. 
Girl, you know why? All my girlfriends are very happy. Because <laughs> of these. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you just go... Mm. <laughs> Mm. And boyfriends too, this is a universal practice tool. <laughs> oh. Okay, I can't speak that bad in my voice for three minutes. Oh, that's so sad. This is really good. I knew I would like the chocolate the best. Chocolate's great in every country. Mmm. Mmm. Talking now? Not at all? Okay, well. <coughs> what? All of this was amazing. Don't go here. <laughs> Stop. Or the history, like the origins. This came from a little town <laughs> in Ukraine. There's a factory there, and if you have to be careful because you have a belly ache when you leave the factory. I, someone told me that recently. <laughs> so we started. Okay, well, let's talk. Let's talk about this. Let's just talk about this. <laughs> let's talk about these fish. These little fishies. They look amazing. They were fine. And I'm sure if I grew up on them, I would really like them, but I didn't. So the only childhood memory this calls back is the wood chips in my fucking <laughs> hermit crabs tank when I was little. It smells like that. I don't know why. And that was probably my least favorite, which is sad for you. But did, were you really surprised that was going to be my least favorite? What do you think was going to be my least favorite? <laughs> the jiggly thing? What jiggly thing? Oh, the salad? <laughs> oh, the jello thing, the jello thing. No, that wasn't my least favorite. It was definitely the most shocking, visually. <laughs> 10 out of 10 out of appearance. Um, that was definitely the most shocking. Because I just don't understand, I guess, who decided to do that for the first time. It's like, let's congeal this. This will taste better. Do you think do you think they thought it was gonna be more filling? If they congeal it like if they jellified it? I don't know, I just wonder. You can't really go wrong with the chicken soup, right? And that was basically chicken soup. Borscht period soup. Mmm. I love both. I love period soup. <laughs> and I love borscht. <laughs> Worsh looks better than a period, actually. Worsh is like almost purpley and magenta-y. Period. This can be grosser. I won't, I, we don't need to talk about that, actually. Jello. Um, and then the, what, 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 what is it called with the, what we just had with the cabbage in it that I really liked? Oh, you can't freaking tell me. It's about three minutes. A baguette. <laughs> but make it Russian. Baguette. <laughs> oh, and this is the apple one? Uh, mm -hmm. No, it's called pirozhok, which is like a baby pie. This looks like a baby rotisserie chicken all bound up. Kind of shape of it. I'm oh my god, invent my voice again. <laughs> Why? Before I stop speaking, what's your favorite? What's my favorite? Um, aside from the desserts, because the desserts are obviously my favorite, I'd say this with the cabbage. Also, the other cabbage one, the stuffed cabbage. But more. Especially, definitely more. That's my favorite. 